So let's look at this question 2 for electrochemistry. What volume of oxygen measured at STP will be liberated by passing a current of 10 amperes through acidified water for 965 seconds? Alright, so let's do the solution. So, first of all, we need to set up an equation of um, liberation for oxygen. It's a kind of um, redox equation for the liberation of oxygen from acidified water. Now, we have to follow the rules of balancing ionic equation. Now, we know that from water, the question says that uh, oxygen was liberated from water. So, which means that H2O gives O2. But this equation is not balanced. And we know the rule for balancing ionic equation. It says that for each oxygen atom at one part, balance it with water at the other side. Balance each oxygen atom by one mole of water on the other side. So now on the on the right hand side we have two atoms of oxygen while on the left hand side we have one atom of oxygen which means that we have one atom extra on the right hand side which means that on the left hand side we need to balance it with one mole of water so here we are going to have h2o plus h2o gives o2 so which means that we've balanced the um, remaining one atom of oxygen by one mole of water on the other side so that will give us 2h2o gives o2 now the second rule of balancing um ionic equation of this type is balance each hydrogen atom balance each hydrogen atom by one mole of h plus on the other side okay so here we have um, a total of two times two four hydrogen atoms which means that we are going to be adding four hydrogen atoms to this right hand side two h2o gives o2 plus four hydrogen ions sorry for hydrogen ions not hydrogen atoms so now we have 2 h2o gives o2 plus 4 h plus um now the equation is balanced atomically but it's not balanced ionically now to balance it ionically balance the equation the equation let's say electrically because at the left hand side we have a total charge of zero but at the right hand side we have a total charge of plus four so now how do we balance the equation electrically we need to add how many electrons to the right hand side can you guess how many electrons do we have to the right hand side yes you are correct we need to add four electrons to the right hand side so that plus four minus four we give us zero here so which means that we are going to add four electrons to the right hand side 2h2o gives o2 plus 4h plus plus 4e minus now it means that the equation is now balanced atomically and electrically so what do we do now we can now say that we can now say that we have a balanced ionic equation for the liberation of oxygen gas now going back to the question, the question says what volume of oxygen measured at STP will be liberated by passing a current of 10 amperes through acidified water for 965 seconds. So now we are going to come back to this equation. Let's call it equation 1. So from the question, the current, um, the current passed is 10 amperes and it was passed for 965 65 seconds from this we can calculate the quantity of electricity 
that is required to liberate oxygen q is equal to current times time q is equal to 10 times 965 q will be equal to 9650 coulombs so we know that 9650 9, coulombs of electricity was required to liberate oxygen good now going back to our balanced equation 2h2o gives o2 plus 4h plus plus 4e minus from this balanced equation we we could see that four moles of electrons is required to liberate to liberate one mole of oxygen so we can say four moles of electron is required to liberate one mole of oxygen now four moles of electron is equivalent to four faraday of electricity four faraday of electricity is it is required to liberate one mole of oxygen but we know that at stp one mole of all gases at stp is 22.4 dm cube that is the molar gas volume of all gas at stp 22.4 dm cube so now we can say that 4 faraday of electrons liberate 22.4 dm cube of oxygen gas now from the question we know that 1 faraday of electricity is equivalent to actually i was supposed to include this in the question that 1 faraday is equal to 96500 coulombs so now we know that 1 faraday of electricity is equal to 96,500 coulombs. Now, if we multiply this 4 by 96,500 coulombs of electricity, is required to deposit 22.4 dm cube of oxygen. So now, how many, um, what, what volume of oxygen will be deposited by this quantity of electricity that we calculated? So we are going to say 9650 9, coulombs of electricity we deposit x dm cube of oxygen. Now how do we find x? We can set up an algebraic equation. Divide the left hand side by each other. Divide the right hand side by each other. Then equate the two. So we are going to have 4 times 96,500 divided by 9650 is equal to 22.4 divided by x. Do you get that so cross multiply the cross multiply we are going to have x times 4 times 96,500 is equal to 22.4 times 9650 so now x is equal to 22.4 times 9650 divided by 4 times 96,500 and if you do that x will be equal to let's press the calculator 22.4 divided by uh, sorry 22.4 times 9650 divided by 4 times um times 96500 and that will be 0 0.56 0 0.560 0 0.560 now from the uh, from the options given 0 0.560 dm cube that's option b is the correct answer 0 0.560 dm cube 0 0.560 dm cube thank you